OBJ really should be a pitch man. Yeah. <laughs> What's he doing? He's well, in he's Vegas. one of the most well-adjusted people I've seen. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. He's one of the most, like, if you see him on Twitter, like, of course. he makes good points. He's always, yeah. like, kind Happy, of. Happy, smile on his face. Relaxed. And it, because I think he did what he, he wanted to do. Like, yeah. he was, like, how many people could kill someone who's bothering them, get away, get with, away it, with it, and then on the other side be like, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's got, look, morality aside, it's got to feel awesome to get away with. And not just, morality like, aside, not yeah. even just, like. He planned it out. He was studying for years. Crime the and way passion. He, it was like he did it. It was so clear the he did it. The way it was supposed to be done. Everyone knew he murdered his he wife. He probably <laughs> saw her and him fucking through right. the window and went, tonight's well, the didn't, night. Didn't he kill like her gay friend, not the guy she fucked? Was no, that? Ron Goldman was the guy she oh, okay. was fucking. And okay. he, I think one of the theories is that he saw them through the window. Right, right, right. And right, was right. like, it's on. And then he went in there and, you know, cut their heads off. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm against. <laughs> I'm against. Staunchly anti decapitation Staunchly anti that. That being said, I've never seen a person on social media that I, f I feel is in a better place. Yeah, he's happy. And look, he's amazing. If you kill someone and you get away with it so publicly, it's yeah. like, and let's, we're forgetting the man is a Hall of Fame running back. The man we're is talented in <laughs> levels that people will never <laughs> be. He's an actor. That's his third he's act. a running back. He's been in, he's been in, uh, he was, he was almost going to be the Terminator. Oh. He was a finalist for the Terminator before Schwarzenegger got it. He's in all the, uh, uh, the Naked Gun movies. I might have to put awesome. him fourth in my most American lives. I have, uh, the, my, the the people that have lived lives that can really only be possible yes. in America and my my top three and it's in no order but it's Donald Trump yeah Caitlyn Jenner right and Alex Jones and I might have to put OJ Simpson as fourth in terms of like lives that are really only possible in America for my money dude he might yeah. be right under DT he might be Cause I like, agree with you because yeah oh I mean just the, truly a star and at USC. We haven't even thought about all the pussy he got. Oh, you know, I, I mean, mean he killed it. <laughs> he's got literally, but he's <laughs> and now, yeah. now he's just in Vegas having a good time. Nobody, he's become this like. And I think fun. if people see him out now, like I got to be honest with you, I'm over it. I think a lot of people are over it. <laughs> I think a lot of, to be honest, I mean, I, I think, know what you're saying. You know though. what I mean? You're be, at the same. T there's levels to that statement because you're, you know, having a life. We're having a nice little time here, but at the same time. I see him on I see him online and I don't think there's a murder. I, I think. don't I don't have any anger towards him. <laughs> I think let's see I what have OJ's no got to say. Towards that man, if I saw him in Vegas, I would be excited. I would kind of be really excited. I'd be like, "Hey OJ, like, hey, can I get a photo? I'm a really big fan." No, legit, just for the Instagram. <laughs> I would. It's, I mean, how many people are doing that? By the yeah. way, everybody's probably doing that. A hundred percent. And and imagine him thinking like when he's standing there, you know, in court and all this horrible stuff's coming out. I wonder if he thought like, "Hey, man, this is all going to shake out. Yeah. One day Donald Trump will be the president. <laughs> right, right, right. Bruce right. Jenner will transition to Caitlyn, yep. and then I'm going to be in Vegas, and people are going to be actually coming up to me, going, "Hey, I'm a big fan." The Nelk boys had him on the podcast. Like, Did they? He's kind of rehabilitated. <laughs> he's kind of rehabilitated. Is it? I would literally go up to OJ Simpson and go, I am a huge fan <laughs> and I would love a photo. I would get And I'm yeah. very confident he decapitated his wife and her lover. <laughs> but I would I would absolutely go up to him and go, I am a huge Big fan, fan. <laughs> massive fan of yours. Can I get a photo? Yeah. And then I would put it on my Instagram and try to come up with a funny caption. And I think you figure it out, man. That's how over it I am. Of course. I'm kind of over it. I yeah. wouldn't do that with Dylan Roof. Sure. I wouldn't do that with someone I think is like, I think Dylan Roof is evil. Yeah. And because I think he went in, he targeted people based on their race. 100%. And I think that, that there, there's something inherently evil about a person who he, walks into a church. Yeah. But a house in Brentwood where you're sucking off a waiter <laughs> ain't a church. <laughs> That ain't a church. And there's just different. It's not a church. And I'm I'm not saying it's right. I'm it's not saying not it's not right. But all is it a house of worship? No. All the, yeah. Here's another fun angle. Yeah. If you really want to spin and you really want to start getting crazy with it. Let's. Being pro OJ. The reason he, he what's one of the biggest signs of CTE is damage. It's brain damage. It's aggression. It's violence. So not only that, you could make him like, like, by the way, the NFL. 
when O.J. Simpson dies, will drop a nuclear bomb on the funeral home that he's in so that science doesn't get a hold of his brain. Right. Because it, like, truly, he got, he went crazy because he was one of the best. I mean, dude, that motherfucker was playing when they had, like, one strap, one helmet. Right. You know what I mean? They had, like, one little he thing on the helmet. He was getting hit and getting taking hit. hits all the time. Yeah, he's a gladiator. For your enjoyment, in many ways, if you love the NFL, you killed Nicole Brown Simpson. And a lot of people are okay with that. <laughs> if you, if you put it in those of, terms, they're good A with lot it. of people are okay with that. I got to be honest, because number one, people hate LA. Right. They hate Los right, Angeles. They right. hate, I've, there's never been a city that is hated more kind of justifiably mm -hmm. than LA. No one cares. A woman, now this might be wrong, this is probably wrong, <laughs> but a woman who's seen as a gold digger is not going to get the same level of sympathy as the juice than as it as the talented uh man who's made the money i'm not hey did i make the world am i god i'm reporting what happens <laughs> if anything this is a news show this is a i'm a media figure and i'm reporting the news from the guest <laughs> digital <laughs> studio <laughs> In New York City. I've been we are relitigating the O.J. Simpson murders I gotta be the on, Gas Digital Studio. I got to be honest with you. I, there's not a man I'd be more excited to see in Las Vegas than O.J. Simpson. There's no... Could you think of a person in Las Vegas you'd be happier to see than O.J. Mm. fucking Simpson? No. Not I mean, I guess Carrot Top, Chris Angel. I would ask him for weight loss advice. <laughs> I would I would hold myself accountable. I may text OJ my steps every night. Yeah. <laughs> That's how much I respect. You want an ongoing relationship. I love the naked gun. I great, adored those are great it. Movies. So like there's a there's a version of me that's at the end of every night going, OJ, I only got seventy five hundred in today because I'm on the road. And he's like, Don't worry about it, brother. Try to hit twelve tomorrow. We all try make to, mistakes. Try to hit twelve thousand tomorrow. He's like, keep the carbs, you know, after three PM, no carbs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I let's let me also just throw this out. Please. And this might not is he the worst father? Probably not. <laughs> He's probably not the worst dad in the world. <laughs> He's probably a pretty good dad, and he probably compensates for the incident he had right, right, right. by being a better father. I think this is the first place you're kind of starting to lose me. Really? I think murdering your mother really puts you, I would say- put I don't think it's ideal. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm wondering, do, do his kids still have a That's relationship? That's a great question. I think they do. Could, could someone here- Look that Can up. Look that up. I'd Could love to one see of the that. producers here. Look right, that up. Right. See, Gas Digital. What you have to do is walk out with a loaded gun. <laughs> it's this is not the Jamie Vernon experience. You have to walk out. You have to put a gun in their head. Um, I we kid, we kid, but um, I think they actually stoppers. I think they do. Interesting. I think they have a pretty good relationship with him. Because I did hear one theory that was uh, that the son did it. The son did it. My mother was obsessed with that theory. <laughs> I think you I gotta realize it. I was in a Comedy Central sketch about O.J. Simpson. What I'd like the producers to do right. is if they can, I would like them to get up, just say no J. And this may be the first time it is played. O.J. was a big part of my life. Yeah. Um, this was the massive trial. We watched the verdict in fifth grade. Right. We turned it on wow. in our school. There was a sketch called Just Say No J. It was released. Uh, on Comedy Central, it was one of these sketches that they would put between shows, mm -hmm. and I played a kid who was playing with a DNA testing kit. My really? father in the sketch was playing with a Bronco, and my mother was uh, doing Marsha Clark's cookbook, um, who was the prosecutor right. in the case. Right. And the idea was that the O.J. Simpson trial had invaded the home of every American family mm. to an unhealthy degree, and Comedy Central's marketing campaign was just say no, Jay. Stop wow. watching the trial. Start watching uh, what we're Central. doing. Start watching uh, reruns of Saturday Night Live. Yeah, and Mystery Science Theater <laughs> yeah. and whatever, right? And Premium Blend. Do we have this? Let's watch Just Say No. I would Jay. love to. Let's watch this. So this is you as a child. This is the first time this has been played on my podcast, I think. Uh-oh. Hey, that's my ball. <laughs> Crushed it. I've been in this business for years. Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> Was it after that point 
that he told you he'd take the next flight? Yes. And, and you, wow, the dog had say enough. No jet from Comedy Central. Wow. So, that was, man. Thank you. <laughs> but that's <laughs> gas digital, the grotesque gas digital. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that is where, I, you know, this is how big the O.J. Simpson trial was in the 90s. It's hard to explain to these youngins. Now your mother when she was she was obsessed with the son did it theory. Is yes. she in an institution at the time or is she No, my mother only went free? in when I was in my 20s. Okay. All right, nice. So she like what happens with schizophrenia it either comes on hard in the 20s or it's usually kind of later in life hormonal menopause in wow. the 40s, midlife crisis, 40s, things like that. More common in women than men, still happens in men. Um, but usually it comes on early, Yeah. but there are cases where I think her, the hormonal thing, I think that's a lot of long COVID, not that it's schizophrenia, <laughs> right. but it's menopausal. Right, right, right. A lot of it's hormonal. Yeah. Um, so the OJ, so that was one of my first gigs, one of my first things I ever did. Nice. Dude. And we went to this house in Connecticut and my grandmother went with me and it was just an, like an all day shoot. But it was cool. Yeah. And you, it was like, oh, I'm in this. I'm in this thing now. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, OJ. OJ, one of your first paying jobs. It doesn't happen my, without him. One of my first paying gigs. So like I'm in the business because of the juice. 